Okay, so this is a, a quick demo on the Fat Boy Romeo 3H in this case. H because it has a hat, a four way military spec um, hat, trim hat switch here for my trims for a trim system here. Um, yeah, so the, basically the, uh, the impetus for this for me was the fact that I, uh, when I'm looking way back when, when I was looking for a stick grip for my Radio Rocket kit. Um, everything out there was plastic. Um, nice grips, and there's some really high-end ones. There's four, five, six hundred dollar um, military uh, or fighter fighter grip style, uh, where you'd have you know 20, 25, 30 switch functions. You know, six, seven switches. Um, what I didn't like was even with those high-end ones, the, the actual material for the grip was uh, was plastic. I just did, didn't want that feel. No, no grip no grip or traction to it and I didn't like the feel I didn't like the uh, the plastic feel so what this is is a an overswelled um, full finger neural um, cobblestone texture um, synthetic rubber uh, that feels great um, and uh, it's it's real just very very comfortable feel to it and this particular type of synthetic rubber and the fact that it's um, chemically bonded to an insert for strength the the type of uh, synthetic that, uh, polymer that rubber that this is regardless of temperature will not flake off some rubber under really extreme hot uh, environments will you'll get a little bit of uh, you'll see it sometimes on the cheap steering wheels um, you'll get a little bit of flake off on your hand and this will not do that. Um, super high quality uh, material here, and um, and for this particular design, I am afforded uh, a, enough space in the head here to to get up to three stations of switches here. And in this case, I've gone military spec for for the push buttons or tactile feedback. In this case, this is wired for push to talk. Um, you're going to hear it and feel it which I like versus uh, other push buttons which which again this is a cake and eat it too scenario um, uh, either way you know you just press to the bottom if you don't get the tactile feedback but I just for an, an add-on or an extra feature for me I, I wanted that that feel and then what I also like about this setup is the raised dome back here again this is um, for your um, your total cake and eat it too scenario I like this because I don't have to reach back and that action I didn't I didn't like to get on the tip of my thumb I can just have my thumb here and just simply squeeze squeeze it and the way this is positioned here is just a natural fall for the thumb ergonomically just your, your uh, resting position in flight and then if you have any kind of bump that you want to do for your trim system you've got it there I've got this north and south here for my elevator trim and then east west um, right and left and labeled here on this uh, uh, for my uh, aileron trim system. So that's uh, a quick description on the grip, the switches. Um, if you're going to order, um, I'll wire this with Tevzel wiring 22 gauge and I'll give you a six foot harness and it's just straight through, straight through the grip um, and then you're all set to go plug and play. Uh, you're going to give me your outside diameter for your stick and then I've got uh, the, the, the stick grip base custom made to match that and I'll give maybe up to 20 thousandths or so of, uh, of rooms uh, so that you're, you're not having to sand down on your stick you should be able to just slide it over the stick yeah and so the way this grip a little bit of engineering here just in case you're curious the way this is mounted to the base is I've got three a or sorry two a and three bolts that go through the bottom here up through a steel plate flocks bushing up inside of the grip so you've got you can actually wrench down on this A and three bolt that's in the side, in, in, straight up up the middle here, um, and get a just super super firm grip uh, for safety. And it's not going anywhere. And I've modified the bottom of this grip so that there's no roll whatsoever. It sits flat right on the base of the uh, up right on the base of, of the uh, this seven bid fiberglass here that I have. And then for added overkill safety, I've got an aft. A and three bolt as well, so um, you just uh, just an added feature so that there's absolutely no chance whatsoever it's going to slide on you. So you've got two points 
of grab here of union rock solid uh, and then uh, yeah so that's the way the base is married to your to your union to your grip and then again this will just slide over the top of your of your stick and then you'll read different articles you'll have different uh, builders talking about how they're fastening their grip to their stick some uh, sticks actually go inside some stick grips go inside of the stick some are outside um, I, what I'm going to do uh, and what I have my customers do is I bolt uh, two times one one east west one or one this way and then another one perpendicular to that straight into it so you've got uh, a and three bolts you know going through your stick um, and you so you got a super or you can go smaller than that if you want you can do set screws as well in thirds around the base around the uh, the sleeve you can do uh, three different set screws two different set screws uh, uh, but for me uh, my personal preference is to is to bolt bolt on okay so um, let's quick look at what is called the fat boy Romeo 3 uh, H in this case H for hat you hit the website fatboyflightworks.com and you'll have um, plenty of plenty of more pictures and video on there and explanation of what's going on with the grip and of course if you want to get a hold of me you can fill out a form there and shoot it off to me and tell me about your project and uh, you, you might not be ready to buy yet but I can start working with you now on uh, what all what all you need and and uh, if you do want to place an order um, on my turnaround time is anywhere from uh, as quick as a week and as far out as six weeks on some of the switches just as a heads up okay so thanks for stopping by uh, fatboyflightworks.com